Hello, it is May 29th, 2015. I am doing a YouTube update here in the apple orchard. And you know what? We are not fire blight free, but we are much better than we were last year. So, some of my work in the off season has paid dividends. Here you see Gold Rush. Gold Rush has some fruit. Not a large tree, so I did snip out a lot of fruit. There you see one of my arch nemesis engravings right there. That is Curculio. I don't like Curculio. I don't like it a bit. Curculio hammered the orchard in early May, late April, early May. Just bonite fruit tree spray did not cut it. Um, Curculio was not affected at all by that spray. So I ordered some Imidan and since I started spraying Imidan, I've seen much better results. You can still see some captan on the leaves here, which I'm glad to see. We've had some rain since I sprayed it. Here, I don't like the looks of that. That could be some fire blight in there. I believe it probably is. So we're going to mark that and try to get it out of here. But by and large, the copper control, the pruning process over the off season, has uh, done well for the apple trees. This is the kids orange red and most of these apples are bug bitten. Again, um, did not have success with bonut fruit tree spray. And I know a lot of you folks use it out there. It's readily available and I've used it for years with moderate success. But I think what I'm finding is I've got some pretty serious infestations here where I'm at in southern Indiana with insects and they don't respond very well to the bonide product so I've moved on from that um, certainly if you are having success with that I'd recommend you keep using it here's the golden delicious tree that uh, I hacked the top out of it because that's where most of the blight was. I cleaned up some of the blight here in the lower branches and it's got fruit. It's got fruit, bug bitten fruit. So we'll see what happens with it. I didn't get the Imidan on till late. So I suffered some damage before it took effect. Next year I'll be ready. And there you see Curculio, the damage done. Nasty insect, Curculio is. Just, I sprayed multiple, multiple times in the early spring, just as these apples were starting out. And there you can see, I believe that's a gold rush sign on top of this uh, gold delicious tree that I whacked off right there. And I'm going to let it grow up. Plans are to keep the tree alive and growing for now. This may be the only freedom apple on the tree. I've got a few lower branches here grafted with freedom and that might be about it. But there's fruit here. And if it's bug bitten, we can make cider out of it. That's okay. The new apple trees are coming along just fine. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the pawpaws. Let's go back down here. Here's some miscanthus gigantis grass that I'm growing to propagate as a propagation bed. Uh, it's great for screening at the deer hunting property. So last time I looked in here I had some very small pawpaws. Let's see if I can find any. So hopefully they're still around. Um, there's one there. But I'm not seeing what I saw a couple weeks ago, which tells me they've fallen off and we're not pollinated, possibly. Ah, there's one up there. Let's have a look. Is there such thing as Paul Paul Corculio? Because I see damage on there. A small pawpaw. Here's a small cluster there. 
So I do have a few pawpaws this year. This tree is grafted. This is a graft that I received from a friend at a uh, fruit and nut growers uh, seminar I went to. And I grafted this one up high up here. So everything above there is sunflower, I believe is the name. Just a quick update there on the pawpaws. Blueberries are very small plant yet, but I do have some blueberries. We had a lot of rain earlier in the year, and I don't know if that's why the plants look like they're struggling a little bit down here on this lower end. That or they got a shot of herbicide they didn't like. Which uh, would probably make more sense. This is a uh, North Star Pie Cherry. It's a dwarf tree. The deer ate a bunch of this tree earlier in the year. And you can see the fruit. Some of it's good. Some of it, uh, the birds have been all over and insects have been all over. But it's got some fruit and it'll, uh, well, let's just see here. See what that tastes like. Very sour. Which is what the dwarf North Star cherry is. Sour cherry. Here's the garden if anybody's curious. I planted uh, rye in the garden last fall. And now I'm using it for a cover crop. I used it for a cover crop early in the spring. And then I knocked it down and killed it and planted into that. And it's a pretty good mulch for the garden. There's an oak tree growing in the garden. But uh, you can see a lot of onions, corn, beans have come up, peppers, some tomatoes down there on the end, some squash. And uh, it's a great soil builder right there. And here's the uh, tall spindle. It's a wreck compared to what it was. It's a wreck. But, there's no fire blight here. These trees have been regrafted because they melted in under fire blight, so I regrafted them this year, and these are the new grafts here growing up. These are Crimson Crisp. Here is the mother of those Crimson Crisp, and it's got a few fruits on it this year. It was pruned pretty hard in the off season. Right there it was hard pruned. Here's its uh, sister right here. A lot of that tree was pruned up. The top remained. There's a lot of fruit in the top of that tree and I hope it grows enough that I can tie it to that top wire for support as those fruits get larger to support it. Here's a honey crisp. I do hope to bring these to maturity this year. I'd love to try a Southern Indiana honey crisp. Um, these aren't growing. These apples here have just stopped growing. So I suspect a pollination problem. I don't think it's a fire blight problem. Um, with, with all the pruning I did, didn't have a whole lot of uh, different flowering out here, different varieties flowering at the same time. But Maybe they'll grow. I'll leave them on. Either way, if the deer don't get them, we should have some apples off of Honeycrisp this year. A couple more grafts I did beside Honeycrisp. These were Newtown Pippins that melted, and I grafted Honeycrisp onto them. So that's a brief update here in the front end of the orchard. Just basically trees planted in a very large front yard is what that is. But I bought those trees fruit. It'd be quite a bit of fruit. Here are some trees I grafted. Now just a couple comments on grafting. I've had a lot better success grafting first year uh, M7 trees, M7 rootstocks than I have uh, bud nines or G30s, uh, more dwarfing trees. M7s had a lot more root on them when I got them and I bench grafted them let them set for a couple of weeks and get a callus on them. 
and then planted them out here in the bed. And they've done uh, very well. I haven't lost any. A couple of them not growing great. That's not one right there. That is not one of them. These three here. But uh, they're all growing. Most of them pretty vigorously. There you can see the graft was there. Tree is there. So, M7s, bench graft them, stick them in the ground. These trees are fertilized. You can see I've got water on them. When it gets dry, they'll receive water. I want to get them up, get them tall this summer. I grafted, these are B9 rootstocks that have been in this bed for a couple of years for various reasons. Haven't got them grafted yet, and I did graft them this year. That's a gold rush graft. You can see the growth. That's a, that's a good 16 inches of growth already on that B9. This B9 is just starting to come out. Here's a G30 over here that I grafted over to Red Free. Red Free. And it's uh, it started coming out a couple weeks ago. It looks pretty good. So anyway, just a little bit here in the graft bed. Every year I put new rootstock in here and graft onto it and then plant out in the spring. So that's a quick update here at the orchard. Things are looking much better than they did last year. Fire blight is under control this year. Um, I did see some fire blight and some crab apple trees about 30 miles from here earlier this evening. So it's out there and I, I have seen it here in my orchard and I pruned it out. But by and large, the work I did over the winter and the copper spray has helped. Don't play around fire blood. Anyway, see what the summer brings. Thanks for watching.